What's going on guys? Welcome to your 37th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to add a material to your terrain. Yes, this is going to be awesome, but before I begin I want to tell you guys this. I got a new YouTube channel. It's called The New Boston TV and on that channel I'm going to be adding all my personal stuff like I'm going to be doing live radio shows every now and then I'm and I'm just going to be making, you know, personal blogs and update videos so if you guys you know want to stalk me want to see what's going on in my life I definitely recommend you subscribe to that channel it's called the new Boston TV and give you a nice little you know break from my work making tutorials and into my personal life so um, subscribe to that channel and then this channel is gonna stay my tutorial channel so anyways just want to tell you guys about that nice little plug so now like promised I want to teach you guys how to add materials to your map and again my materials I mean add grass and rocks and dirt and you can maybe make this mountain a mountain with the grass on the bottom and a rocky mountain with snow on top of it so we can achieve that through the use of materials but before I just start plopping materials down my map I want to talk to you guys about how materials are going to work in the UDK so right now you see that we have one layer and that layer is a height map now like I said in the last tutorial a height map is basically a map that tells your UDK which area should be raised which area should be lowered which area should be flat it's pretty much a map telling well just like I said just that but we can add other layers to the UDK as well now the other layers we're going to be adding is a material layer such as grass and we're going to be adding another layer for rocks and we can even add a layer for trees and plants and bushes so basically everything in our terrain gets added in the layers so I just want to tell you guys that before we continue because it might give you a little better understanding of what we're trying to accomplish so what we're going to be doing now is since we already have our height map layer we're going to be adding a grass layer so in order to add a grass layer the first thing we need is a grass material so go ahead and clear everything out and there are a bunch of different materials that are built into UDK if you go ahead and search rock and make sure you have material selected there's a bunch of good ones right here uh, for you know this one's a pretty good one right there however I'm going to be searching ground because there's one I like right here ground master zero one so I'm gonna go ahead and select that and X out of the content browser now it's still selected so keep that in mind so in order to make this ground my base layer here's what I need to do in the layer panel right here and of course if you have this closed out just go ahead and hit terrain editing mode and it'll pop back up go ahead and right click and select this work right here new terrain setup layer from material auto create and this is going to basically take the material that you selected and it's going to set up a new layer on your terrain for it so go ahead and click it and it takes a minute to uh you know load and everything but now you have a new terrain editing layer so now check it out what happens when we paint as you can see you can see a little bit better than you know whether you were just doing that with a default gray and purple so what I typically like to do is whenever I'm making a map I, I usually like to make the outside mountains because that way the user can't venture off into to the uh, distant void so that's basically all there is to add a new base layer so this is nice we got a new layer of grass covering our entire map we're saying all right that's cool and all but what if we could add even another texture because usually when you step outside you don't see grass forever and ever you see rocks and trees and you see some dirt and water so let's go ahead and add another layer and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that so go ahead and open your content browser and clear everything out again make sure you have material selected though and let me think of something to look for I guess I can just look for a rock or something and let me look for a good rock ooh these look pretty good I like this one right here um, it's called black spire 01 if you want to follow along with me so go ahead and select that X out of your content browser and right click on the empty spot on your layers panel and click new terrain setup from material auto create so it's gonna create that layer but nothing's gonna happen 
pretty weird huh so in order for this layer to show what we need to do is paint this layer on and tell UDK exactly where we want it to appear so go ahead and make sure your layer is selected just like that and whenever we select it we're basically using the rock as paint now go ahead and make sure you have your paintbrush and I'm actually gonna bring my radius down a tidbit because what I'm gonna be doing is I wanna paint this in, only in specific locations so let's go ahead and hold control and start to paint and now you can see that well basically exactly like you expect it's painting on that rock texture wherever I'm telling it to so that's pretty cool that's how you get you know a nice little rocky texture wherever you want it so maybe it's like rocky here maybe the inside of this mountain is rocky and yeah that's basically how you work with multiple layers in the UDK so I'm gonna be putting rocks on top of my mountains because hey if one mountain has rocks on top of it they probably all do so I think that's a nice look right there but usually whenever I'm creating a game and whenever you're creating a game here's what I recommend this is not like a UDK to this is just a game development tip is you usually want to make a path somewhere in your terrain so the user has kind of a general idea of where to follow if you ever play like world of warcraft and zelda you notice that they had kind of dirt paths giving you a general idea of where you're supposed to run to because if you were to go ahead and right click and hit play from here your user would be like uh... okay so there's not even like a kind of a clue on where you're supposed to go because everything kind of looks just like bland so go ahead and i'm going to be adding one more layer and I'm just going to go ahead and first clear everything out and make sure we have material selected and not, what can I search for just go ahead and search for dirt or something and go ahead and grab this terrain dirt and once you have that selected go ahead and add a new layer for terrain dirt and make sure we have our terrain dirt layer selected and go ahead and paint this on so I'm going to bring the radius way down right about to 28 and since my player is going to be starting right here that's where I want to start my turn so what I'm gonna to like to do is hold down control and just paint that and now I'm gonna make a path in between these mountains right here and as you can see once we start creating this path it's gonna give like the user I wanna say let me move my camera a tidbit it's gonna give the user a general idea of where to run around in the map so again they would be kinda of lost and now they have kind of a feeling that alright there's a road here I should probably travel along it to see what's at the end of it so now if we go ahead and plop our player down right here play from here again you can kinda of see that alright they're running around okay I'm not just running around blindlessly anymore I have an actual path that I need to follow and maybe the user can go along this path and you know buy some illegal drugs and sell them to little kids or something I don't know if you're making a game like that you could do that but that's the basics of how you add multiple materials to give your terrain a unique look and feel so that's all you guys get in this tutorial in the next tutorial we have all these tools to cover and you know a whole bunch of stuff to cover but for now like I said that's all you guys get so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later